guys, welcome back to today's video. Uh, I promised you guys that I, well, didn't really promise, but I said I'll do like a part two on how to do a cartwheel, since that one was just getting ready and prepping for the cartwheel. Um, we ran out of time and storage, but now we are on our iPhone 11, now to our old Android. So we should have enough, well, we should have a lot enough, like a lot and enough storage to be able to post this. Um, if my mom had enough storage to hold 5,000 photos on her phone, because this is the one she had before me, because she got an iPhone 12, I think we'll be good with just like a seven minute video. Maybe even less than seven, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, thank you so much for the views. We have around, we've only posted two videos and we have like, almost, we have 50 plus seven, we have 50 plus 17, so we have around 70 views already, and it's only our second video. Um, and thank you so much uh, for just taking the time to watch it. Uh, so before we start this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It's my dog. And then, maybe, when we reach 100 subscribers, I'll share maybe a subscriber. Maybe a subscriber of the week. I'm not sure yet. Maybe when we reach 100, I'll put it in my video. And uh, all of you, thank you so much for supporting me. And thank you so much. I don't know where I'd be without you. So anyways, let's get started. That's my dog. They jump out the window, because they're weird. But <laughs> anyways, so here's what, so I taught you how to do the part one of the cartwheel. So here is part two. They are giving me puppy eyes. I can't let them in though. And I am like super excited to show you. So let's go ahead and do it. You're gonna put one, your good leg in front of the other. I'm gonna go ahead and start off the mat so you guys can still see me. I'm just gonna pick. That was a nice pretty cartwheel. And you're just gonna do that. Um, I'm sorry guys, I don't know if you could see, but my legs were straight. And yeah, all right, so you're just gonna practice that kicking motion. Or if you like this way more, I don't like that way. I like the way that I always do more. This is how I was taught to do a cartwheel. You're gonna go down and rotate your shoulders. I don't know, I like that way. I don't think my back leg was up, let me try again. Anyways, yeah. Um, so this is how to do a cartwheel part two. Next video, I will be showing you how to do, I don't know. I'm going to let someone decide, or I'm gonna think on it overnight on what video we should do next. Should we do, the options are handstand or splits. Unfortunately, guys, I'm not gonna let you choose. We haven't reached that 100 mark. So if you want to choose, we should have 100 mark. Um, maybe if I'm nice, we'll do 50, so you can choose the next video we'll do, because I'll do a YouTube poll on it. But anyways, so here is, okay. So you're just gonna practice this over and over again. So here's what, you, when you first start a cartwheel, it might look like. Or maybe even something like this. And you'd be like, yeah. I'm just waiting to say, yas, queen. But yes, that's what your cartwheel would look like. Maybe, that's just a maybe. Or your cartwheel, cartwheel, your cartwheel might look like that. Or like this. This is how when I started a cartwheel, it looks like. Oh no, this, here's what it looked like when I started a cartwheel. I'd be like, yeah, I did it. And here's me now. Oh my gosh, why did I do it that way? I know that I'm bad at doing it that way. I don't know why I did it. Okay, I'm losing it, but anyways. Yeah. So what you're gonna want to practice when you're doing your cartwheel. You must practice, practice, practice getting your lunge and pushing your hands. See, I kind of went in midair. That's good. 
After you got that down, you practice the rotating motion. Or if you're not gonna practice the rotating motion, don't rotate, just do what I just did. So if you're gonna practice rotating, do this. Just practice like kicking up. You wanna make it, you wanna make it so rather it's your leg coming off the ground, just like your, just the soles of your feet are coming off the ground, or your toes. Just don't be kicking up into a handstand. That won't teach you anything. In my opinion, handstands are harder than cartwheels. So I would recommend, this is just my, you can start whatever, but I would recommend starting a cartwheel before a handstand. Um, yeah, so after you're done doing your cartwheel, here's what it should look like. Perfect cartwheel right there. Uh, that's what it should, I don't know if it was perfect. It was, I can tell it was at least okay. I'm just gonna practice. Didn't land up, I didn't stick that one, it's fine. But yeah, I landed it, not stick it. So you're just gonna keep practicing over and over again. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the evolution of what it will look like. Here's what it'll look like when you first start. Okay, that's step one. Or it may look like this. When, if you're really little, you might think you start a cartwheel like this, or a handstand like this. No, you don't. So you're just gonna go ahead and keep practicing that. Um, after we do the beginner how-tos, maybe I'll start doing some challenge videos. I think a good challenge video is the bad leg challenge, which is where I'm gonna like start a handstand, start a cartwheel, start like a handspring, or like that stuff in like a bad, like my bad leg. That's gonna be interesting for my walkovers. So I don't think my legs are very straight in my walkovers for some reason, but I can do a handspring, so. Okay, good. So here's evolution two of doing a cartwheel and what it'll look like. Almost like a handstand kind of, but then you just kind of come back down. I know some people who do this, not everyone, so some people might escape that. So some people want to, skip that stage of doing cartwheels so either way you're going to be able you're going to start one and at least number three so here's number three you're finally learning how to get your legs over but your legs may be a little bent or they may look like this you cannot land it step number four is this breaking your back while landing it so that's step number four um, you can't land them. You really gotta practice kicking your legs over hard enough so you can land them, but not like flailing over. And here's the last evolution. No, I think it's fine. But here's the last part of doing a cartwheel, or last stage. Oh, I stick that pretty well. Just walked off to the other side of the screen. If you practice your cartwheels, you may be able to do a round off. Don't judge me if I do it wrong. I'm just gonna do it. If I do a cartwheel, I'll just try again. But I'm doing two max. But here's a round off. That was a cartwheel. Do a terrible one again. Yeah, that was another cartwheel. That was not a good cartwheel idea. Um, yeah. Tired today, I guess. So anyways, one more way of practicing your cartwheel. Just practice kicking your legs over. Just practice, practice, practice. You could practice maybe against a wall, just kicking your legs. Or you could do, or you could practice by doing this. That's kind of like a handstand, but not really. Or you could go like, so there's three ways. So that was the second one, here's the third one. How are your legs bent? Perfectly okay when you're practicing. Just four, there's, sorry, four ways. Or you could practice just pushing your hands down on the ground and just doing push-ups. Just feeling yourself kind of coming off the ground. And maybe, just may, probably, I'm not gonna search you guys. You're going to do it. I believe in you, you're gonna do it. Just keep practicing. Here's what it'll look like when you're finished. Anyways guys, uh, my dogs are being annoying. 
and I think it's time to end the video here. I love you guys so much. Um, and cartwheels are a tricky thing if you're still if you're still beginning. You can practice round offs. After you practice your handstands, maybe you can practice some handsprings. But a good step below that is just going into a front lumber. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Again, thank you for being here with me. And this is my third channel. This is my third video on the channel. And if you don't hear my dogs, they're right there. And you probably do. I love you guys so much. Bye.